guys, Scope Scripter here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a working day and night cycle in Roblox Studio. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to open your Explorer. Now, if you don't know how to do that, I'll be showing you how to do that right now. All you got to do is go up here and click on View, and then Explore. And boom, your Explorer tab pops right up. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do, you're going to click on Workspace right up here. And then you're just going to hover over this little plus icon, and you're just going to click this. And then you're just going to click Script. And what this will do, it will open a brand new script. And in this script, we're actually going to be writing the code that will make the day-night cycle actually work. So we can just get rid of this print hello world right now. And instead, you're just going to write this right here. Now, this is a pretty long script to write, so I will put the script in the description if you just want to take it from there. Um, but I will show you one important thing that you have to do. If you want to change how long the day and the night is, all you got to do is write up here, local space day length. Just change this to something larger or smaller. Now, the numbers do go in minutes, so if you put something like 1, then the day and the night will be 1 minute each, or if you put 1 point, uh, sorry, not 1.5, 0 0.5, then it will only be 30 seconds. And I'll just be showing you guys that right now. Um, I'll make the day length 0 0.5, and I'll just test that out right now. And here we go, we spawn in, it starts out as night, and as you can see, the moon is sort of moving across the sky, and it goes down, and boom, 30 seconds later, sun comes up, and then after another 30 seconds, the sun will set, and the moon will come back up. So anyways, guys, that's all you gotta do to make a working day-night cycle. So you just gotta insert a script into the workspace, and type this right here. Again, script in the description. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I hope this helped you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you in the next video.